Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw fish skull from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now, first of all, I'm gonna draw his eyes on the left side with an oval shape. And inside of that, I'm gonna draw a circular shape in the middle point. And inside of that, on the top corner, another smaller one. For the lower half of that circle, I'm gonna fill that in with black color. Above the eye, I'm gonna draw a curved line across right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the lower point on the left side right there. On the top right corner of the eye, I'm gonna draw across a curve line to the right eye. And I'm gonna copy the same shape of the eye on the right side right here. And I'm gonna copy the same shape of the eye on the right side. Below the eye, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards, semi circuit turn inwards at this lower point across to the middle point below his head. And at that middle point, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there. And I'm gonna mirror the same shape of the face on the right side right there. From the side of the rectangular shape, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line at this lower point and copy that same line again slightly above that. At the outer corner and ending point, I'm gonna draw a line downwards. I'm gonna mirror this whole thing on the right side right here. Surrounding the side of his face, I'm gonna trace the same curve line across all the way to the bottom of his eye and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here. Now at the inner corner of the eye, I'm gonna trace the same shape of the eye at the side here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the left eye right there as well. Now for his mouth, I'm gonna draw a curve line across in the middle of his face. And in the middle point, I'm gonna arch it upwards semi circuit turn at the sides, downwards and inwards. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side of the mouth right there. And curve line across for the lower part of his mouth. Inside of the mouth, I'm gonna draw across a curve line right there. In the middle of his mouth, I'm gonna draw a line upwards from this lowest point right there. An arch curve line to the right Turn it back down on the right side and align downwards. I'm gonna copy that same shape on the left side and copy that same shape again along the left corner right there all the way to the side of his mouth. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the right side right here and mirror the whole thing on the upper lips. Above his mouth, I'm gonna draw off-center a dot on each side, right there. And on his cheek, I'm gonna draw a curve line from the side below the eye across to the left right there. Turn it diagonally down. Sharp turn back up on the right side and curve line across back to the side of his face. And I'm gonna copy the same shape on the left side right there.
Now for his head, I'm gonna take the point above his eye and draw a curved line diagonally upwards to the middle point and at the tip above a line across mirror the same curve line on the right side right there and from the tip above I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and above that rectangular shape I'm gonna draw from the side a diagonal curve line outwards and up sideways to the middle point turn it diagonally upwards to the middle and mirror the whole thing on the right side right there and slightly above the eye I'm gonna draw a curve line across inside the head right there and in the middle point of that curve line I'm gonna draw a line upwards along that line I'm gonna draw some short lines across right there and at the side of the eye at this lower point on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally downwards same as a turn to the right and same as a turn back upwards. I'm gonna copy the same shape again on the right side right here. Now below the head on the right I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line inwards and down. Same as a turn to the left and turn it upwards diagonally on the left side right there same as you could turn back downwards and sideways to the left and slightly downwards turn it downwards at the side of the sleeve right there below the head on the left a uh, curve line downwards at that corner and going back to the right side I'm gonna draw another curve line downwards below the neck Turn it diagonally inwards to the middle point, same as a good turn across, and diagonal turn back up on the left side all the way to that corner. And below the collar, I'm going to trace the same line across at this point right here. And on the right side, I'm going to draw uh, another curve line downwards and slightly to the right, sideways to the right and same as a turn downwards at that corner diagonal turn inwards below that flare it out again with a curve line and inwards below that a diagonal line out same as a turn inwards on the left side i'm gonna draw his arms with a curve line diagonally out same as a turn downwards at that corner for the arms all the way to his hand. Same as a turn downwards and same as a turn to the right. And for the inner line of the arm, I'm gonna take this point below the first curve line and draw a similar curve line downwards, flare it slightly out below the elbow point and turn it back downwards below the elbow point flare it back out at the side of the thumb and turn it downwards sharp turn back up on the left side right there and same as a good turn downwards same as a good turn back to the right diagonally at that corner and sharp turn back to the left and turn it upwards on the left corner now for the sleeve of his shirt, I'm going to draw a curve line from the left arm on the right side. Turn it upwards and turn it out at this upper point. And from the same point again, at the side of the arm, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line inwards. Same as a turn downward. Flare it slightly out with a diagonal line and turn it back inwards at this lower point. A curve line across for his belt all the way to the right side right there. On the right side, I'm going to draw his pouch with a rectangular shape at that corner. And inside of that pouch, I'm going to draw from the left top corner a line across 
that will turn downwards. Same as you could turn to the right and turn it back upwards on the right side. On the right side of that, I'm gonna draw the side of the other pouch with a, another rectangular shape right there. And for the lower line of his belt, I'm gonna draw from the left waist another curved line across at this lower point and a line down on the left side of the waist right there. In the middle, I'm gonna draw two lines downwards right there and on the right side of that I'm gonna draw a line across at this upper point turn it downwards and a line across back to the left at this lower point below that a line down in the middle point and at the upper point right there now on the right side at this upper line of the belt I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line to the middle and mirror that at this lower point right there. Below the belt on the left, I'm gonna draw a line downwards, flare it out with a diagonal curve line, same as a good turn inwards and diagonally downwards. And I'm gonna copy that same set of diagonal line at this lower point again and turn it downwards. I'm gonna do the same thing for the right side of his pants right there. And at the lower point, semicircle turn inwards, across, semicircle turn back upwards, at the inner line of the legs, slightly inwards, flare it back out with a curved line and up, and turn it upwards to the middle point of his leg. A curved line across in the middle of his leg right there. I'm gonna copy the same shape of the inner line on the left side of the leg right there. Below the pants, I'm going to draw a line down on both the left and right at this inner corner and a curved line across. Below that, I'm going to draw his knee and lower leg with a curved line downwards. Same as a good turn, slightly to the left and curve it downwards all the way to his ankle point. Same as a good turn, back inwards at the ankle point, curved line downwards below the ankle and same as a good turn to the left. Another curve line downwards at the side of that ending point and turn it to the left with a semicircle turn. Turn it back upwards on the left side and slightly inwards. And on the left side of the ankle, I'm gonna flare it back out and turn it back inwards with a diagonal curve line and back outwards at the side of his calf on the left and turn it back inwards towards the knee. On the right side, I'm gonna draw a line downwards at this inner corner on the left and right and curve line across at this lower point. Below that, from the inner corner, a curve line downwards. Turn it slightly out diagonally with a curve line. Flare it slightly out at the ankle point and curve it back inwards below the ankle point. Flare it back out to the heels and same as could turn to the, the right, arch it upwards at that corner, turn it back downwards diagonally and curl it up back upwards at the tip of his foot right there and sharp turn back down with a curl and at the side of that curve line I'm gonna draw a curve line across arch it in the middle point right there, back down and upwards at the ankle point. Flare it out at the ankle point and turn it back inwards above the ankle point and flare it back out around the calf and inwards to his knee. Now going back to his belt on the left corner, I'm gonna draw another pouch with a rectangular shape on the left side right there. And for his right arm, a curve line out from the sleeve on the right, turn it downwards, diagonal turn out to the elbow, and downwards towards his hand. Same as good turn at that corner downwards, and turn it to the left 
to the tip of that finger. Chop turn back out and upwards and diagonal turn to the left at this upper corner. Above that, a line across diagonally to the left right there for his thumb and above the thumb I'm going to draw another curved line upwards for the inner line of his arms. Turn it upwards towards the side of his outfit. Now for the patterns on his outfit, I'm going to draw on the left side off center of the belt a line upwards in a rectangular shape at that corner continue the line upwards another rectangular shape at that point continue the line upwards same as a turn to the right a tilted rectangular shape at that corner like that continue the line across to the right and I'm gonna mirror the same rectangular shape at this corner and below that another one continue the curve line across and turn it downwards on the right side right here another rectangular shape at that corner continue the line downwards again a rectangular shape on that corner continue the line again downwards to the belt and below the belt I'm gonna continue that line again at this slightly outer corner Rectangular shape at that point, continue the line down, another rectangular shape right there, continue that line downwards to the middle point of the pants, a tilted rectangular shape at that corner, and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna continue that line downwards and turn it to the middle point on the right with a curve line. And I'm going to mirror the same shape of the curve line on the right side right here. Same as a turn upwards at that corner. A rectangular shape at that point. Continue that line upwards. Another rectangular shape. And continue that line upwards all the way to the bottom part of the pouch. Now for the skull trooper patterns, I'm gonna start with drawing the ones on his knee with a curve line across below the pants, turn it downwards at the side and diagonal turn downwards to the middle point on both the left and right. Below that, I'm gonna draw a line downwards on the left corner right here and curve line downwards, turn it straight down below the calf and flare it slightly out. Curve line across to the left at this lower point and I'm gonna mirror the same vertical line on the left side right here. On the right side of that at this upper point I'm gonna draw a diagonal line across turn it downwards and follow the same shape of the inner line of the legs right there all the way to the ankle point flare it out curve line across flare it back inwards and I'm gonna mirror the same vertical line back upwards to that corner below the anchor point I'm gonna draw a curve line across a line downwards from the right corner diagonally to the left and sharp turn upwards to the left side now above the knee I'm gonna draw a curve line across at that corner same as a turn at the sides and inwards and line upwards all the way to the side of his hips right there flare it out with a curve line same as a turn back inwards at this upper point same as a turn back downwards diagonally to this outer corner and same as a turn inwards at that corner turn it downwards with a curve line flare it back out to that point. Above that on the hip I'm gonna draw on the left corner a diagonal curve line inwards and down. Same as a turn downwards, same as a turn to the right diagonally, turn it across with a curve line, same as a turn upwards at that corner, and same as a turn back up and out diagonally to the left 
side of his head. Now on his arm, I'm gonna take this point at the side of his shoulder and draw a, an arch curve line across. So I make a turn at the side inwards and a line downwards on both ending points at the side. Flare it out again at this lower point. Semi circle turn inwards, across to the right, and turn it back upwards on the right side. Below that, on the right side, a curve line across. Semi circle turn downwards on both sides. Turn it inwards, and turn it downwards all the way to his wrist. Flare it out again above the wrist. Turn it downwards across and mirror the whole thing on the right side right there i'm gonna copy that same shape again on the outer corner on the left right here and below that i'm gonna draw a rectangle shape on the outer corner and below that i'm gonna draw a rectangular shape above each finger right there and another one below the knuckle to the finger. Copy the same shape again for the other finger at the side right here and I'm gonna copy the same patterns on the legs and the arms on the right side. Now in the middle of his outfit I'm gonna draw a curve line across at, on his top right there. Turn it downwards on both sides above the belt diagonal turn in the middle point and downwards and I'm gonna mirror the same shape again on the right side right here at the side of that I'm gonna draw his rib with a curve line downwards at this inner corner turn it diagonally out and up at the outer corner sharp turn back inwards to the lower point I'm gonna mirror the same shape at this lower point like that and repeat that shape again across this lower point another one below that and another one and below that I'm gonna copy the same rib bone again and slightly downwards at the outer corner Copy the same shape of the ribs on the right side right here. I'm going to take the middle point of the buckle and I'm going to draw a rectangular shape right there another one below that and another one right there and that's all for our tutorial today i hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful be sure to like and subscribe to this channel also feel free to drop your requests suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below see you next time